Wodonga has started the season off nicely with a hard-fought 4-2 win in their opening match against United. It was going to be a tough game to start with for the year um, after knocking them off uh, in the semi-final to make the grand final last year. Uh, they had a bit to prove to come out try and knock us off. With the memory of last year's finals exit at the hands of Wodonga still fresh in their minds, United climbed back from two goals down to draw level with less than 10 minutes to play before Wodonga found something extra to take the points. Pretty much the whole back line was really strong. A few little lapses but um, coming from week one you expect that. The Falcons and North also had wins while Wodonga will face the Magpies next weekend looking to bounce back from a shock loss. Meanwhile it was a reversal for the Wodonga Division 1 women with a shock 4-2 loss first up to the Magpies. Um, they come on top of us in the end, it was pretty close all game and um, very very hot but in the end they slotted two late goals and uh, got, on, got over the line. Both sides had plenty of youth mixed with experience, but Wodonga coach Shay Billingsley says her side's inability to take their opportunities ultimately cost them in the end. We couldn't put the ball in the net, so it was in the circle a lot of times um, and it didn't actually get to the backboards. But um, we had more opportunity than Magpies, but you know, you've got to get it in the net to win the game. Meanwhile, United and merged team Wombats Beechworth also had wins in round one. Stephen Murphy, Prime 7 News.